Hey guys, happy Friday. Welcome back to my channel. This is episode two of the whole like weekly reads kind of deal and the first one seemed to go really well so I'm so excited to be here and continue on with this little like mini series on my channel. So again, if you guys are loving this and you want me to continue this route, definitely thumbs up so I know that you guys are loving it. Again, if there's anything else you want to see or a book that you want a full review on, definitely comment below and let me know so I can work on that for you guys as well. Otherwise, I'm just going to dive in and share what I read over the past week, what I'm currently reading, and all of that good stuff and just kind of give you guys an update. So the first book that I finished within the last week was Everything We Left Behind by Carrie Lonsdale. This is the sequel to Everything We Keep, and I really enjoyed this series so far. Now the third installment will be out next summer, so definitely stay tuned and keep an eye out. I look forward to continuing on with this series. I just wasn't like overly impressed or totally in love with it, but I really enjoyed it, so I ended up giving it four stars. What I really, really like about this series so far are the characters, the way the romance is kind of like intertwined and it's so realistic and messy and heartbreaking and yet beautiful and so I think there's just so much depth into this part of it. The other thing I really like are the descriptions and the world that is, that is built. I really truly feel like these are people and situations that are so down to earth that you could just either run into or they could be friends or yourself or whatever. So very relatable. And I really enjoyed that about this. I do think it's a little bit slow until just over halfway and then it kind of picks up and then at that point I do not want to put it down. Um, I believe each one of these books has taken two to three days. So again, fairly quick reads. So perfect for summer or a great beach read, whatever that is, but definitely enjoyed these. And then the book that I am currently reading is a like a legal thriller. So I have not actually read a ton of books like this. So I was very interested. This is a um, debut. It is called The Inevitable Witness by Ed Rucker. And so far I am just under halfway and I'm really liking it. The one thing that I enjoy probably most about this is there's this nice kind of um, mystery and suspense kind of building. So obviously we jump right in with the murder literally on the first few pages. So we kind of get thrown right into the thick of things, but we don't know what happened, you know, whatever. So we're trying to solve all this, which I really enjoy that side of it. I think the characters are, are pretty good so far. I feel like we do have a lot of characters and there's a lot of things happening. So it feels a little bit overwhelming at the moment, but I know as soon as everything kind of takes off and everything's set in its place to let everything unravel, then I think things will be a lot easier to follow. I was also worried about this legal thriller being a little bit like over my head since I am not a lawyer. I don't do a lot of the, you know, the jargon that they have. And so I feel like at that point I was like, I'm probably, a lot of this is just going to go over my head. I feel like it definitely tones it down. It, you know, gives you enough reference to either know what it's talking about or breaks it completely down so that, you know, I feel like there's only been one or two times that I was just like, yeah, not quite sure, but I'm just going to keep reading and hopefully I'll like figure this out as I go. So again, it's definitely kind of toned that down and made it a lot easier for people like myself to kind of understand and grasp a lot of the terminology and things happening. So I'm looking forward to finishing the, this up hopefully in the next few days. So it'll be included in next week's uh, weekly reads or in the monthly wrap up too, whatever, you know, whatever comes first or both. Um, but again, definitely enjoying this so far. And I hope you guys will Follow me on um, Instagram if you guys aren't already. There's a link below because I am so excited to be partnering with Chickadee Prince Books to be giving a copy of this along with a buddy to read. So, you know, definitely watch for that because as soon as that giveaway goes live, I just am so excited to share it with you guys and hope that you guys will enjoy it as much as I have so far. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. Um, the next one I read last Saturday, we did a little bike ride, so if you guys don't follow me or missed it, my birthday was on July 5th and my parents gifted me a cruiser, a county cruiser, which I was so excited. I have been wanting one for so, so long and it is just the perfect everything. It's got the basket, a horn, like the, the color is the perfect, like I just absolutely love it. So um, my husband and I have been doing like bike, uh, bike, weekly bike rides and this last uh, week on Saturday morning we went for a little morning ride and we went out to Golden Eagle Park and then on the way back we stopped at Starbucks, grabbed drinks and a little like 
scone and just hung out for a little bit which was really cool to get to just kind of chill like we haven't done that sort of thing where we just like go to Starbucks and hang out like we usually grab it to go or whatever so it was kind of like a little date morning and it was so nice to refresh and everything but while I was there I quickly read through Hummingbird by Sophia Elaine Hansen and I really enjoyed this I am fairly new, actually not fairly new, like I'm really new to poetry and the first book that I ever read in poetry, like being outside of school, like I wasn't into it at that point in time. I read Milk and Honey, absolutely loved it, like so obsessed with it. So it definitely set the standard really high for me. And since then I've read one or two other collections that were pretty good, you know, didn't totally move me the way Milk and Honey did. Then I picked up this one because I've seen it around a lot. I already followed the author because of her uh, YA books, and I just, I loved everything that I had heard about it, so I picked it up. I ended up giving this one three stars, and at first I was a little hesitant as to why I wasn't, like, connecting the way everyone else did, and without going into, like, super in-depth, I just think it was my experiences didn't quite line up with the author, and poetry is so subjective, and while I did enjoy it, I just felt like it wasn't quite all there for me. The second half, where she starts to fall in love again, definitely resonated with me, and I really enjoyed those a little bit more. So I had two favorite poems that were in here. My favorite part about all of this, though, is getting to connect with the author. She saw that I posted about it and started commenting, and then we started a um, like direct message back and forth, and I got to chat more about her work, what inspired her, kind of talk about some of the experiences, kind of bounce around some other recommendations with modern poetry and I just felt like again anytime you could buddy read or talk to the authors I just think it adds like such a cool like element and enhances your experience and so I definitely loved it so much more after getting to talk to her she was such a sweetheart so thank you so much Sophia for taking the time out and doing all of that it was so sweet of you and I got a lot of awesome recommendations from her and I know she's in the works of a second collection and I'm really looking forward to getting that too. I, I truly believe that, you know, she set out as a YA author, so diving in and being able to follow her dream on this and kind of like brave it out is so inspiring. And I just think that she's gonna continually get better and stronger with each one. So I'm really looking forward to the next one, especially because now that she has found like the love and everything, I just think that's gonna be right up my alley. So again, definitely like liking that. Um, the last one I'm going to share with you guys today is one that I'm currently reading. Started it, I believe, yesterday morning um, and a little bit this morning, too. I just, I got up, I made some tea, had some banana bread set in my little reading corner, which I absolutely just adore. You know, like, it's kind of chilling off in the morning a little bit the last few days, so I've been able to open the windows and just hang out and relax in the morning before getting going, and I've been reading the Princess Saves Herself in this one by Amanda Lovelace. And as you guys can tell, I'm 70 pages in and I've already tabbed so many things. This one for me is right up there with Milk and Honey, probably just under, like, seriously cannot top Milk and Honey right now, like, unless this totally bangs out, like, the rest, and then I'm, like, left totally speechless. But regardless, this is so good. I am connecting with a ton of stuff. It is so heartbreaking and inspiring and empowering and beautiful and just emotional and I'm so loving this so if you guys are looking for another awesome collection of work definitely check out Hummingbird and definitely check out this one I am just loving it cannot wait to finish it will definitely be like completed within the next day or so because it's obviously really short quick reads but I'm trying to soak it up I think that's one thing I've learned so far with this modern poetry is it's so short and so quick but you can devour it like within an hour like or less but to be able to sit there and enjoy it and really like just kind of like divulge in it. And so I'm trying to take my time. I'm trying to go slow through it and just really enjoy it. And so, yeah, anyway, definitely loving this one. All right, you guys. So that is everything I have read, currently reading. Um, the only thing I didn't really include is what I want to read next. But if you guys watched one of my previous videos, you guys may know as well as follow me on Instagram that I'm going to be doing a buddy read of Gather the Daughters starting August 1st with my friend Sadie along with Courtney and a couple other people. They're doing like a saltwater uh, like book club kind of buddy read thing going on so we're joining in on that and it should be a lot of fun. So I will leave all the links below. And that way you guys can check it out if you guys want to join. So definitely grab the book. The link will be below as well. And definitely jump in and chat with us and just kind of enjoy the whole experience with us. Because I've heard amazing things about this book and just can't wait to, to dive in. So that will be my next read as soon as I finish The Inevitable Witness. And yeah, 
Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. I will see you guys hopefully Monday, if not by Wednesday, with my um, monthly wrap-up with everything I've read and just kind of chat a little bit, do some mini reviews, all that good stuff. So, yeah, I will see you guys then. Have a good one. Bye.